My name is Dr. Frank with Stanford School of Regional Anesthesia and today I'm going to show you how we do fascial iliac compartmental block for hip surgery. We do this block for total hip replacements, for hip fractures and occasionally for uh, hip arthroscopies. Uh, this block uh, we are using instead of lumbar plexus block because of its safer profile and there's a lot of confusion about this block. Uh, with regards of how to perform it. Today I'm going to show you how we do it so you can get a consistent successful block. In order to perform this block uh, I usually stand on the side uh, being performed, uh, side, side of the patient where the block is being performed and I position the probe in the cephalad to call that position on the anterior superior iliac spine which you can feel in pretty much every patient. And uh, if you look at the ultrasound screen, then ASIS is right here. After that, I move my probe, slightly caught that, and I turn it facing uh, the patient's belly button. As I do that, you can see some structures coming into view. And if you look at the ultrasound, you can see the ilium. On top of it, there is a muscle, uh, which is an iliacus muscle. And uh, there is a muscle right here at 3 o'clock which is an internal oblique muscle. For the purpose of this demonstration, left side of the screen is cephalad and uh, right side of the screen is caudat. So as I move my probe upwards, you can clearly see internal oblique muscle with peristalsis down in the bottom. As, and as we move further down, then you can see the transition point, which is in inguinal ligament, as well as sartorius muscle right over here. So the view that you're looking for when you are performing this block, you're, you're basically starting from, uh, from ASIS, as we have discussed, and when you turn the probe, you're looking for a view that would look similar to a, a bow tie. As you can see, there is a bow tie connector right here, the top part of the bow tie right there, and the bottom part right there. So that's, that's the structure you're looking for. And the fascia... Uh, right here is the fascia iliaca. Your goal is to insert the needle below this fascia and when you inject your local anesthetic, once again, this is cephalad, this is caudat, you insert the needle from caudat to cephalad and you want to, put, to insert it right below this, uh, uh, this fascia so that the fascia would peel the iliacus muscle and uh, the local anesthetic would, would, would come down further into the pelvis. If all your local is going to be injected on the, uh, on the uh, caudat part of that, of that structure, you will be less likely to have a successful block. This block is uh, also known as a 3-in-1 block. It's not a nerve block per se, it's a compartmental block. Therefore, it requires higher volume of local anesthetic. We usually use uh, between 50 and 60 uh, milliliters of 0.5% raw pivocaine or quarter percent marcaine and uh, it provides us with the, with the femoral nerve block, obturator nerve block and uh, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve block. This is Dr. Stephen Finkel from Stanford School of Regional Anesthesia and this live block video showing the fascia iliaca block you can appreciate the needle coming from a caudad to cephalad position from the right side of the screen toward the left. The goal as you can see injectate already being uh, expressed on the screen is to have the needle tip sitting just underneath fascia iliaca as you begin your injectate, you are interested in gently hydrodissecting underneath the fascial plane in a cephalad manner to ensure that you get proper spread of local anesthetic into the proper compartment. This is a large volume block of roughly 60 cc's of local anesthetic. It's important that our needle be positioned properly so that we get good coverage for the femoral, obturator, and lateral femoral cutaneous nerve.